Builder Ben and Tyne Lack to enact the Interception Disclosure of Geolocation Information Protection Act of 2011. Judiciary. House Bill 676 by Representative Harbin, the 118th. Bill of Entitled Act, Men Title 17, relating to limitations on prosecutions. Judiciary non civil. House Bill 678 by Representative Long, the 61st. Bill of Entitled Act, Men Title 31, relating to health, provide for regulation of previously used materials. Agriculture and Consumer Affairs. House Bill 729, by Representative Knight, 126, the Bill of Entitled Act, Title 48, relating to revenue and taxation. Ways and Means. House Bill 730, by Representative Henry, the 67th, Bill of Entitled Act, Title 50, relating to competitive award requirements to a general authority. Judiciary. House Bill 731, by Representative Lindsay, the 54th. Bill to be entitled Act, men Title 20, relating to charter schools. Education. House Bill 732, Representative McBray of the 153rd. Bill to be entitled Act, men Code Section 40-2-84, relating to issuance of license plates to veterans award Motor vehicles. Arts. House Bill 733, Representative Hightower of the 68th. Bill to be entitled Act, men Title 19, relating to family violence. Judiciary non-civil. House Bill 734, Representative Dempsey, the 13th. Bill of Entitled Act, Men Title 43, relating to professional counselors, social workers, marriage, and family therapists. Health and Human Services. House Bill 735, Representative Bruce, the 64th. Bill of Entitled Act, Men Code Section 1611 129, relating to a license to carry a weapon and temporary renewal. Permit. Judiciary non civil. House Bill 736, Representative Bruce, 64th Bill of Entitled Act, Men Title 33, relating to general provisions relative to insurance. I insurance. House Bill 737, Representative Williamson, 111th Bill of Entitled Act, Men Act, Creating Board of Commissioners, Walton County. Intergovernmental Coordination. House Bill 738, Representative Williamson, 111th Bill of Entitled Act, Men Act, Providing Election Districts, Board of Education, Walton County. Intergovernmental Coordination. House Bill 739, Representative McKillop, 115th, Bill of Entitled Act, Men Title 44, relating to mortgages. Judiciary. Conventions. House Bill 740, Representative Cook, the 18th, Bill of Entitled Act, Men Act, Board of Commissioners, Carroll County. Intergovernmental Coordination. House Resolution 1130, by, by Representative Cook, the 18th, Resolution urging the United States Congress to repeal the 17th Amendment. Governmental Affairs. Bill by Representative Ralston, the 7th. May can provide appropriations, state fiscal year, beginning July 1, 2012, ending June 30th. Appropriations. Bill by Representative Ralston, 7th. Bill of the entire act, providing appropriations, state fiscal year, beginning July 1, appropriations. 2012. Appropriations. Through the first readers. Second reading of House Bills and Resolutions, the clerk will read. HB 670 by Representative Clark of the 98th, a bill relating to state government. HB 672 by Representative Oliver of the 83rd, bill relating to incorporation of municipal corporations. HB 723 by Representative Chanel of the 116th, a bill to amend an act to change the method of electing members for the Board of Education, Putnam County. 
HB 724 by Representative Allison of the 8th, the bill relating to prestige license plates and special plates for certain persons and vehicles. HB 725 by Representative Hamilton of the 23rd, a bill relating to general provisions relative to selection and qualification candidates for presidential electors. HB 726 by Representative James of the 135th, a bill to amend an act to create a board of commissioners, roads and revenues, Peach County. HB 727 by Representative James 135th, a bill to amend an act to provide for Board of Education, Peach County. HB 728 by Representative Jaspers of the 12th, a bill relating to covenants re running land, the effect of zoning laws, covenants and scenic easements for use of the public, renewal of certain covenants. HR 1119 by Representative Scott of the 76th, the resolution urging the United States Congress to pass legislation that will create a uniform national framework on digital commerce to protect consumers from multiple and discriminatory taxes and provide certainty and uniformity for state and local governments. HR 1120, Representative Scott of the 76th, the resolution urging the United States Congress to enact a uniform internet privacy law through second readers. Report of Standing Committees, the clerk will read. Representative Sims, 169, Chairman Committee on Intergovernmental Coordination, submitted the following report. Mr. Speaker, your Committee on Intergovernmental Coordination had in consideration bills of the House, struck before the same back to the House with the following recommendation. House Bill 700, 708, 710, 712 do pass. Respect to submitted Representative Sims. Chairman, through the committee reports. Okay, we're going on now to the local calendar. Going on to the third reading and passage of local uncontested bills. If there is no objection, we will vote on the local calendar as a whole with a recorded vote. Hearing none, it is so ordered. The clerk will read the local calendar. House Bill 700, Representative Purcell, 159. Effingham County, House Bill 708, Representative Epps, 140th, Jones County, House Bill 710, Representative Epps, 140th, Jones County, House Bill 712, Representative Jaspers, 12th, Pickens County, through the local calendar. Is there any objection to the previous question being ordered on the local calendar? Chair hears none. The previous question is ordered. Is there any objection to agreeing to the report of the committee which was favorable to the passage of the bills on the local calendar? The chair hears none. The report of the committee is agreed to. Shall these bills now pass? All those in favor of passage of the bills on the local calendar will vote yes. All those opposed will vote no, and the clerk will unlock the machines.
um, have all members voted? Have all members voted? If so, the clerk will lock the machine on the passage of the bills on the local calendar. The ayes are 142, the nays are zero. These bills having received the requisite constitutional majority are therefore passed. Okay, we're going on now to morning orders. We have one morning order, and you might want to give attention to it. Chairman Sims, are you ready on your morning order? Chair recognizes Chairman Sims for a morning order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House. On your desk today, you will see something from me um, and from Wayne Allen and Legislative Council that has to do with population bills. Now, let me explain something to you. Before we go home today, I know you got a lot on your mind, but you need to take this letter that we have to your local county attorneys, city attorneys, and board of education attorneys. Now, let me explain to you the difference between a population bill and a reapportionment bill. A population bill is something that may affect your uh, homestead exemptions or any of, uh, number of tax incentives, tiers, all kind of things. All right, now let me explain to you what this is. In the old days, they don't do this anymore. In 83, they, they, they required this not to be done by a constitutional amendment, but th they were grandfathered in. And if you happen to be in a population, uh, you have a population bill that affects your county, you could lose your homestead exemption if you've grown or fallen off in population within a, a certain sphere of, the, of that, of whatever the, the uh, population says. It says like for 27,000 to 32,000 people, if you've grown to 32,005 people, you now no longer qualify for whatever the law, uh, the local legislation at that point in time said. Now they're all handled as general bills. These are not local bills and we cannot bundle them so it calls our subject matter differences and disputes and all of that so you can't bundle these bills up I'm really serious that you need to take these home make sure that the county attorneys see them it is their job to get the if they want these things uh, repealed they can if they don't want repealed they got to get the the numbers right to make sure the bills are right and this could affect hundreds of different districts, okay? So we're really, really trying to get you to take this home today. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll stand just a minute, Mr. Speaker. I know this is a morning order, but if you do have a question of me, please ask it. If you don't, I can come to, you can come to my desk. But make sure you take this home. County attorneys, city attorneys, boards of education attorneys. It is extremely important. Read it and take it to them next week. Remember that these are general bills and we have 25 days to cross over. Remember that, yes. Okay, an example of a population bill would be like this. As the, as the majority leader had asked me, it will start out like this. A typical population act would declare some provision